And welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise rebuild. Here today, we have our season opener for year two, starting with the Indianapolis Colts. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. Please leave a like, comment down below what you thought of today's action, and don't forget to su subscribe. So, after our first off-season, as if you guys have not seen the off-season video, I would highly recommend checking it out, as well as the preseason video, I would recommend checking it out. This is the current state of our roster. These are all the changes that we've made. We brought in Tony Pollard at running back. We drafted Paul Wilkerson, Kevin Booth, Nate Davis, another quarterback. Um, defensively, we helped out the interior of the defensive line, bringing in Jabril Peppers, Greedy Williams, Rashad Evans, and plenty of other players names if you guys have not seen the offseason video i highly recommend checking it out i know it's a longer episode typically my off seasons i kind of just ramble on and talk about it um and if you haven't seen the preseason video also recommend checking that out but this is episode 20 of this um franchise rebuild and i can't believe we are already in year two but after the preseason, we had one major question mark after it, and who's the starting quarterback? And is it the rookie? Is it Davis Mills? And after feeling the two quarterbacks as a user, and overall, I, I just, I think it's Davis Mills that we start week one. I know he threw over 30 interceptions last year, I know. But as an overall feel of as a quarterback, I like how I felt with Davis Mills, and I just think he's ready to start because we overachieved last year. And now entering into year two, we need to be able to put up wins. We gotta, it's now taking the next step as a team. And I just think Davis Mills, at least right now, gives us the best chance to win. So we're gonna go with Mills. We're not gonna really go through too much of um, the scouting and stuff I, I put I did hire new um, scouts I'll show you guys that very quickly um, we're looking at again defensive end and defensive tackle offensive linemen tight ends corners you know these are kind of just like for next season um, again very quickly but let's go through the Colts roster and get into week one taking a very quick look at this Colts team who we lost twice last year. We lost in week one and week 18 versus this Colts team last year. They were led by Jonathan Taylor, Quentin Nelson, DeForest Buckner, Sha Shaq Lawrence, you know, Gilmore. This team didn't really change too much. They still have Matt Ryan at quarterback. They drafted Aaron Lawrence here. Um, Taylor's still there back. Uh, they brought back T.Y. Hilton, Audit Tate. You know, this team didn't improve but they also stayed the same. And we know this Colts team, they know, we know they like to run the football. They like to get after the quarterback. They have a very good pass rush. And it's gonna be a very interesting matchup. You know, last year, Chase Hunt here was their first round pick of a year ago. Um, you know, this is our first test. Um, after all the free agent signings and all the free agent moves is that we made these decisions to beat within the division going one and five in this division being able to run the football having a more of a premier passing game and to be able to stop the run is why we brought in players like hicks joseph evans peppers and we brought in nate davis and uh, tony pollard was to improve on our strengths and improve on our weaknesses so hopefully here in week one i put it all together year two here we're trying to now improve and not just be an overachieving roster. You know, going eight and nine last year, we have a lot to prove this season and let's get right into it. And welcome to Monday Night Football here in week one. It is the Houston Texans versus the Indianapolis Colts. It's the beginning of a new season. New questions, new storylines, players breaking out and youth being shown. The Colts team last year went and won the division and got all the way to the AFC championship, championship game and lost in it. For this Houston team, we went 8-9. We overachieved. 
we almost made the postseason, but going 1-5 in, in the division really hurt us. With the moves of adding in Tony Pollard, Paul Wilkerson, Nate Davis to the offense to help out our team, and adding players like Hakeem Hicks, Greedy Williams, Linval Joseph, and Rashad Evans, hopefully that will improve our defense. This team is going to be very interesting. Um, Brandon Cook's new slot wide receiver. How will Nico Collins play? We had a lot of outstanding players last season. Let's get in here, here in year two of this franchise rebuild. And leading out his Colts offense is the veteran quarterback, Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan has, I believe this is like his 16th season. Right now a 74 overall, looking to improve on his records and trying to get lead his Colts team to a Super Bowl. The Colts here will start at their own 25 yard line here. Matt Ryan in the shotgun and here goes Jonathan Taylor and Taylor rumbles and tumbles for eight yards. Taylor last year was the offensive player of the year with a very good rushing stat line with 1800 yards rushing as he's going to be a focal point of this offense here. And this is the new addition, Rashad Evans, with a good tackle for loss. We're hoping that he can provide both help in the passing game and in the run stopping. Stopping the run last year was a very, was the weakness of our defense. Now with three tight ends on the field, here goes Taylor right up the middle. And this is Peppers, the another new addition. Peppers making the tackle, but a fresh set of downs here for this Colts roster. Staying under center here on first down. Ryan will take the snap, and this is Linval Joseph. All the new additions are stopping this running game. Joseph, the veteran defensive tackle, making a good play. Now Matt Ryan puts three receivers out here on second down and 11 here. Takes the snap, sending up a little screen now, but Chase Linovich back there for a good tackle for a loss. Reading that play perfectly. The outstanding pass rusher who really had a breakout season helped out right there. And now this is where your defense should be able to pin their ears back and go get the quarterback. Third down and 15 going down the field and that pass is off the hands of Greedy Williams. It's fourth down. We're going to force them to punt, but Williams had an interception. And after a 30 plus touchdown season a year ago and a 30 plus interception season ago, Davis Mills is our still our quarterback. He's leading out his offense here and with some new changes to the team, hopefully he will be able to turn those turnovers into more points. Davis Mills will start this game under center here. Pierce the lone back here as Pierce will get the call up the middle and DeForest Buckner blowing up the play. A year ago, uh, Damian Pierce was our leading back, but hopefully he will have another good season and Pierce and he breaks outside here. He gains a good 13, 14 yards right there. The outstanding second year running back continues to produce for his offense. Couple wild throws here. Now it's third down and 10 here. Mills has to pass. Looking to throw here. Trying to go to Collins on the outside. And Collins reels it in here for 18 yards. Last year posted up 2,000 yards receiving. And he reels that pass in on the sideline. Mills trusting in his 6-4 wide receiver. The third year playmaker continues to help out his quarterback. Past midfield now here is this Houston offense and they're gonna go to number 31 up the middle and he will fight for five. Second down and five now, Mills looks to throw. Looking for anyone going to the sideline here. Paul Wilkerson reels it in and that is his first career catch. The outstanding rookie preseason standout makes that play. We traded up in the first round to go get him as we're gonna go right back to our ground and pound game with Pierce Hall breaking tackles and he's rumbling and tumbling for 15 more. Inside the 15 now, Mills standing at the 20 yard line, takes the snap, looks to throw here, looking for anyone rolling to his right. And Mills is gonna look to run here. He has open field in front of him and he's tackled at the two. First down and goal here at the two. Jumbo packages in. Mills takes the snap. Here's Christian Thomas, the fullback dive doesn't work. We're almost trying to get that to work on the first try. It's third down and goal here at the two. Mills under center now, takes the snap, play action fake, looks to throw here, and he tried to get that ball to Cooks, but it's incomplete. It's fourth down. 
Well, it's fourth down and goal here, and Houston's looking to go for it. Mills takes the snap, looks to throw here. He's looking end zone here, and it's off the hands. I don't think anyone got open, though. Houston just went for it. They should have just settled for three. As it's a turnover on downs here, but the Colts are backed up at their own two-yard line. Here's Jonathan Taylor trying to get some breathing room, and he does so. Second down and one here for Matt Ryan and his offense. Ryan takes it, and this is going to be a good tackle for loss here by Rashad Evans. Colts face a third down and three here. Three receiver formation takes it as Ryan looks to set up a screen here for Taylor. Taylor makes the move here. Williams and Christian Harris have to combine for a tackle. Well, Houston offense got very aggressive on their first possession here, and it's kind of biting them right now as the Colts are starting to put some good plays together. More play action here for Ryan, settling underneath here for Taylor, who has been their offense. Third down and eight here. Can Ryan get this conversion? Looks to throw here, slings it over the middle. It's off and it's batted away. Christian Harris tipping that pass down. Well, with one quarter in the books, we have a tied ball game here in week one. Tied it with a goose egg. As here goes Pierce, who cuts it back inside, and he will gain nine more. Houston's offense got aggressive on their last possession. Can they put up points on this one? Mills looking to throw in the empty look, and he's going to go underneath to Tony Pollard. Pollard was brought in here for his athleticism, and he breaks up the first down. A bunch of formation here on second down. Mills needing to get something going here, looking to throw here, and he has a wide open Christian Wilkerson, the first round pick down the sideline. That great speed was able to get him that separation. What a job here for number four. Mills staying in this package here on second down, takes a snap, play action fake, looking to throw here, looking for anyone, no one's open, and he's gonna go down here at the 10 yard line. That's third down and goal here at the 10. Mills has to go to the shotgun. He has to look to throw here, looking for anyone, getting this ball to Collins who reels it in, but he goes over to the sideline and steps out of bounds here at the four. I think Houston will just settle for three. The low scoring affair here in week one. We just put up three points as Matt Ryan will start at zone 25. Here is Taylor, gonna gain a couple more. It's now third down and six here. Matt Ryan will turn to an empty look. Takes the snap, and he's going to do a quarterback sneak here. What the fuck? Matt Ryan gains six yards, the 38-year-old quarterback. We were not expecting that. Second down and 10 here. Ryan with a pa jumbo package to his left. Looks to throw. There's plenty of time underneath here to T.Y. Hilton, and Hilton will gain the first down. Now the Colts are putting together a quality drive here, trying to answer with at least some sort of points. Taylor the lone back takes it. Here goes Taylor, but Rashad Evans with a good tackle for loss. We're seeing the significance of these veteran defensive players added to, from this defense. Here's Taylor again up the middle, gaining six more. Third down and five here for Ryan standing at midfield. Can Houston get off the field? Setting up a screen now. Taylor. No, that's not. I don't know who that is in the backfield, but he's losing a yard. Our defense has shown up to play here, but we are only have we only have three points to show for it. Can we get something going here? Mills looks to throw here. It goes underneath here to Brevin Jordan, his first catch of the new campaign. Third down and six now. Mills in the shotgun takes the snap right before the two minute warning. Looking to throw, trying to get this ball to Collins and it's off his hands. I don't really like that play design. So far, it's been a punt fest here. It's been all defense. And now with less than two minutes to go here in the first half, can the Colts put up any sort of points? Here's Ryan, looks to throw here, slings it over the middle. This is the tight end Donald who they drafted and he picks up a good first down. Colts will go to a hurry up offense now. Ryan slings it outside here. Wide open is Taylor. Christian Harris with a good open field tackle. Both teams have all three timeouts. Ryan looks to throw, slings it over the middle. Good drive in the development here for this Colts team. Can they put up some points? Ryan looks to throw plenty of time in that pocket and he finds Donald underneath. Inside now the Houston 20 here. With 41 seconds to go, Ryan has one timeout, looks to throw, settles underneath here, and good job here by Greedy Williams. He's a good open field tackler. Bolts are holding on to that last timeout, less than 20 seconds to go. Ryan looks to throw, slings it over the middle. T.Y. breaks free, touchdown Indianapolis. What a job here for veteran to veteran here. And the Colts are going to put up their first touchdown of the new campaign. 
So what just ensued here is that I was trying to get this game into halftime, handing the ball off to Tony Pollard, and he fumbled. So the Colts now have seven seconds, one timeout to work with. Can they put up any sort of points here? Here's Ryan, looks to throw, settles underneath here, and it, they will have time for a field goal attempt. But my goodness, my jaw dropped right as that happened here. But the Colts now, after the fumble here, is able to put up three points before halftime. They will have a 10-3 lead here entering into halftime. And what has happened in this first half? It's been a punt fest. It's been a very defensive battle here. The first turnover of the new campaign for us. Um... So far, we've been equal in terms of passing. We've been rushing the ball a little bit better, but we got a little over aggressive on our first possession, which um, didn't lead to any sort of points. What we got to be able to do is run the football and we got to hit some passes here. You know, Mills got to be able to get his receivers open and, and get some completions going. Um, got to see more of Nico Collins, hopefully. And our defense, they played good. Very good in the first half. Allowed seven points. I know they are up by it's 10 to 7 or 10 to 3, excuse me. But once due to a turnover, I'm not going to blame the defense on that. What can Houston do here at the beginning of the second half? They're down by seven. Mills will take it. Here's Damian Pierce. Pierce has been running the ball a lot today, and he gains six. Turning to the shotgun now is Mills. Pollard is in. Looks to throw. Settling underneath here to Brevin Jordan. And Jordan reels in for a fresh set of downs. Gotta get Davis Mills settled in here. Eye formation. Pierce back in the ball game. Play action fake here now for Mills. Looking to throw. Rolling, rolling. Looking for anyone. And he's gonna look to tuck it in himself. And he gets the first down. Or close to it, excuse me. Second down in inches here. Maybe it's time to take a shot. Mills motioning Collins. Play action fake. Looks to throw here. He's going to settle underneath though. Here's Damian Pierce. He can catch the football and he will get the first down and more. Mills in the shotgun here on first down at the 36th of Colts. Looks to throw here. Plenty of time. Looking end zone now. Brevin Jordan wide open and he reels it in here right at the five yard line. What a job here for the third year tight end. Wow, he goes up there, brings down that 50-50 ball, and Brevin Jordan helping out his offense. Mills under center here, three tight ends in the game. Takes it, here goes Pierce up the middle, and Pierce will find the end zone. Touchdown, Houston, his first, first touchdown of the new campaign. And we're an extra point away from tying up this ball game here at the beginning stages of the third quarter. What a job here by Pierce. He had his nose for the football last year, and he continues to show why he does. Ryan starts at his own 30-yard line here, or 25-yard line. Here goes Taylor, gaining a couple. Now this Colts team faces a third down and six. Ryan in the shotgun, takes the snap, looks to throw here. Plenty of time, settling underneath here, but two defenders are already there. But now Jalen Peachy is down on the field. That's huge. Bills starting at his own 10-yard line. No word on Jalen. And the shotgun looks to throw. Going on over the middle. And that's Brandon Cooks for his first catch. Bills trying to get into rhythm now. Uh, on their last possession was able to put up six. Looks to throw. Trying to get this ball back to Cooks. It's off his hands. But it got into the hands of Brevin Jordan, thankfully. What the fuck? This game is already freaking so weird here. Empty look now for Mills to the air now. Going to Paul Wilkerson. The first round pick reels in this pass. And now you're starting to see this Houston offense start to sling the football here with Mills. Staying in this passing game now. Settling underneath here to Brevin Jordan and it doesn't go far. Houston faces a third down and nine. Mills takes it, play action fake, looks to throw here. Trying to get this ball to Paul Wilkerson on the sideline. What a job here by the rookie. In the preseason, posted up 300 plus yards, and he reels down that pass on the sideline. What a job. Good job right there for Paul Wilkerson. Fresh set of downs here for Houston. Back to the air now. Mills looks to throw. Wide open is Nico Collins. You can't leave him open like that. Houston trying to ex trying to take back the lead here. Takes it as Mills. Looks to throw. Slings it over the middle. It's going to be intercepted here. He wanted Collins, but Kenny Moore stole it out of his hands. Diving for the pass. What a job here. And I don't think that's a good play right there 
for Davis Mills. Just a bad decision right there. Houston was driving here, but now after the turnover, can the Colts be able to answer it? Here goes Taylor, but Rashad Evans with a good tackle. Rashad Evans has been sideline to sideline, hitting everything that moves here. And now the Colts face a third down and six here. Can our defense get off the field? And these are the type of plays that really matter. Third down and six. Ryan takes the snap, looks to throw, sending it underneath. And here is Michael Pittman Jr. for a fresh set of downs. And here at the beginning of the fourth quarter, we have a tied ball game. And Matt Ryan is driving off the turnover by the by Houston. Looks to throw, slings it over the middle. T.Y. Hilton reels it in for 13 more. Ryan staying in the shotgun now in Houston territory. Looks to throw, slings it on the outside. And this is Donald, the tight end. You gotta get something going here if you're Houston. Here goes uh, Taylor up the middle and he again gets the first down. Empty look now here for Matt Ryan. Inside the 25, looks to throw, slings into T.Y. who has a touchdown and he gets the first down and more. As Matt Ryan is changing up the play here, looks to throw here, plenty of time. Michael Pittman reels it in and he fights close to the end zone and they're ruling him, he got it in. Touchdown Colts. What a job here for Michael Pittman Jr. giving his team back the lead now. Houston will start their own 25 yard line here and they need a touchdown. Mills takes the snap, looks to throw here, and he's trying to get this ball to Collins on the sideline, and he reels it in. What a job. Second down and 10 here. Mills takes the snap. Here goes Damian Pierce up the middle on a gaping hole, and he's breaking free. Can anyone catch him? And they can't. Touchdown, Houston. What a job here for the second year running back. What a great blocking for our offensive line, but I think Nate Davis led the way. What a job here. Damian Pierce with his long, I think one of his longest career runs, and it comes here in week one of the brand new season. And what an answer right there for the this Colts team, or for this Houston team, as the Colts will take over now. Ryan slings it over there, T.Y. Hilton is wide open, and he gets a first down and more. What happened to our secondary right there? The Colts have to be able to respond with some sort of points, and that's an excellent start of this drive here for Matt Ryan. Takes the snap, here goes Taylor. Rashad Evans can't real bring him down, but thankfully Greedy Williams can. Second down and six now. Here's Taylor again, the back. He goes up the middle, breaking free. Peppers and Williams have to bring him in. It's cold. This Houston defense has played excellent today, and they need to be able to finish the job. And this is going to be L Chase Linovich in the backfield. What a job here. He went unblocked. It's third down and 11 here. This Houston team needs to get off the field, and this pass is widely thrown. Fourth down. Houston will take over here. They're down by three. Mills in an empty look, takes the snap, looks to throw here, slings it over the middle. Here's Tony Pollard who reels it in for a first down. Don't have to throw the game plan out here. Houston can still run basically their entire offense. Here goes Damian Pierce, tries to bounce it outside here. He's been running so hard today and he gets another first down. Third down and five here, you need this conversion. Mills takes the snap. He's looking to throw here. Getting this ball to Collins, who reels it in here. What a job here for the young wide receiver. Inside the 30 now of Indianapolis. Here goes Pierce again, and he rumbles and tumbles for seven more. This Houston offense needs to learn how to finish games, too. Mills takes the snap. Here goes Tony Pollard, the veteran runner. First down. Third down and three here. Houston just can't screw this up. Mills takes the snap, looks to throw here, rolling, looking for anyone. Goes end zone, Cooks, touchdown! They're taking the lead here. Brandon Cooks, his first touchdown of the new campaign here. The veteran receiver continues to shine here in Houston. And now with a minute 08 left to go here, it's up to this Houston defense to be able to finish the job. And here we go. Here in week one, a minute 08 left to go. The Colts have all three timeouts. Can they put up a, can they get a touchdown here? Here's T.Y. Hilton will start with six. Staying with this hurry up offense here. Ryan looks to throw. Little going deep down the field. It's off the hands of the receiver. It's now third down and four here. Ryan needs this conversion. Looks to throw here. Going to the sideline. Donald, the rookie tight end, reels it in. Here the Colts, you gotta work the sideline here. You have three timeouts though to play with. 
Right at his own 48 yard line, takes the snap, looks to throw here, going up back to T.Y. Hilton. He's been so reliable. First down and more. Timeout, the Colts. 22 seconds now here. Bunch formation to the left. Ryan looks to throw again. Plenty of time. Time started to run out. Linval Joseph pushes him all the way back at the 49-yard line here. What a job there for the defensive tackle here. Now 16 seconds to go. One timeout in their back pocket here. Going to be motioning Michael Pittman here. Ryan takes the snap. Looks to throw here. Going down the field. And that ball is intercepted. Steven Nelson last year had six interceptions. And he'll start here in week one with one to end this ball game here in week one. What a job here for the veteran corner. And what a job here for this defense and for this Houston team. On here in week one, the Houston Texans are going to be beating for the first time in this franchise the Indianapolis Colts 24 to 20. What a job by our defense to be able to put to only allow this Colts team to really be one dimensional. And we did not allow Jonathan Taylor to do anything. They only rushed the ball for 67 yards. Our defense forced a turnover at the right time. Our defense got a sack at the right time. Offensively, I know this says two turnovers, but hey, the Tony Pollard fumble, let's just kind of throw that away. We know Davis Mills will throw his one, but either way, Davis Mills had a great game and gotta be happy about that. You know, Mills went out there 22 of 30 for 269 yards nice and a touchdown but the 73 completion percentage is huge last year he completed about 50 percent if this keeps up that's huge damian pierce went for a buck 40 and two touchdowns with a long of i don't even know how long that rushing touchdown was of 56 yards you know we ran the ball very well pollard in his debut really kind of disappointed with the fumble but hey Got to just kind of get him going here. Mills rushed for an extra 20. Paul Wilkerson caught five balls in his debut. Same with Nico Collins. And Brevin Jordan helped out too. But a touchdown for Brandon Cooks. Happy about that. Blocking Pierce allowed a sack apparently. Overshot Evans all over the field. Three tackles for a loss. 18 total tackles. And Greedy Williams as well. Not liking that, but Williams is a good tackler, and that's another good reason. Got a bunch of tackles for loss, and Linval Joseph added a sack. But what a job here, here in week one, starting off with a victory. Happy to see that. Happy to see the additions of this team is able to beat a divisional rival. We went one and five, and I wanted to make sure that changed this year. Got a couple upgrades after the week one performance here. Let's start with Damian Pierce. We'll go with Elusive Runner, make him an 81 overall. Definitely, definitely give the game ball to him. He rushed greatly. You know, he's only the 32nd ranked running, the 30s, uh, 32 ranked running back in this league, but he rushes so well. We also got John Mitchie here, who's our new, uh, uh, kick returner. We'll go with slot with him, make him a 75 overall. Happy about that. Getting some catching and medium route running. Let's see his ratings. Yeah, we got to work on some stuff with John, but hey, hopefully we can get him involved somehow. And after that week one performance here, we see it's a very, already a very tight division here. Uh, the Colts or the Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars won, so. We're all tied here in the number uh, number one after one week. We also had a couple players sign off the practice squad. Thomas Booker, probably the most notable one. Um, but hey, next time we play against the um, Carolina Panthers, a team that we have not played yet in this franchise here versus Christian McCaffrey, who, yes, is still on this team. But what a job here. What do you guys think of the week one performance? Next time, we'll go... We'll kind of talk more about the draft we'll talk a little bit more about uh negotiations and stuff because we already have 10 players who are ready to negotiate and stuff but guys what did you think about the week one performance please leave a like comment down below what you thought and don't forget to subscribe and guys i will see you in the next one